Tried to convince Mel Man, I said, you know when you go and get the horse in the morning, it takes about an hour. I could just jump on the motorbike, run down there, we'll go and check a paddock for you. So it took me about two years to convince myself that he bought me this motorbike. He was going away somewhere and I was the only one on the property. And I thought, well, this is my chance. I got on this motorbike, I went chasing Brumbies, mob of wild horses. And I hit a big bloodwood tree stump at about 120 k an hour. Completely smashed the motorbike and broke my leg. And the bone come out, stuck into the dirt. But I thought, well, I'm gonna die. Like, no one knows I'm here. Hopefully I won't be back for four or five days or something. So I thought, well, I've got, I've got to get out of here somehow. So but the main thing was get to a road first. Sort of hopped and crawled out there. And about the second night I was there, something I was leaning up against a big gum tree and I had a big stick in my hand. And all these dingoes come there, howling and carrying around not far from me. And they started running and nip at me a bit. So I thought, well, I was going to throw the stick at them, but if I throw it, then when they attack me, I'm not going to have anything. So I thought, well, they're going to find me here, just skeleton. At least I'll be near the road, they should find me. So. And in the end, I just threw the stick and it hit one of them. They all just took off about the third or fourth day or something. So that old boy come driving on the road. They fixed my leg in the Catherine Hospital and put a plaster on it. It was really hurting the next day and my mother came there and I said, you gotta get this thing off my leg like it's, my foot's gone numb and everything. So she got an Indian doctor and he come and had a look at it and he, uh, he cut it off immediately and took me to Darwin. Yeah, they were gonna cut my leg off, but I thought, well, I'm not gonna be much good for bull chasing it with one leg, so. I told the old fella, you can't let them cut my leg off, I'd rather die, you know. Yeah, they hung, hung a bit of a drip up and got antibiotics straight into my vein that day, but I beat it, eh? I had about eight screws and two plates in there. But when we were out bull catching on one job, me and Milton, it uh, worked looser and it came out through my skin. I broke nearly everything except my back and neck and pelvis. And the most painful thing is Milton screwing that screw back in with a Phillips head screwdriver into my barn. Oh, geez, it hurt. And him laughing the whole time.